Nev there is never going to be another Warcraft 4, there is never going to be a StarCraft, and there's a reason for it. These are not billion dollar titles. The AAA industry doesn't care about RTS. RTS doesn't make money. RTS is fine, and a lot of people love them, but, the but it doesn't make money. So the only way we'll get a, a Warcraft 4 and a StarCraft 3 would be through Microsoft. Now, Microsoft seems to be the only real AAA company that still does RTS um, outside of the sort of civilization turn-based stuff. But Age of Empires, how long did it take them to make another Age of Empires? Now, for Microsoft, the the difference in, in goals is what makes RTS great. Because for Microsoft, if they have RTS games on the Xbox Game Pass, that means people are subbing to the Xbox Game Pass. And if that gets people to sub and then they maybe discover other games on the Game Pass, that's a good thing. That's a win for Microsoft. For companies like Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, for companies like EA, what they look for in an individual title, so they're releasing one title, what they look for in that one title is a billion dollars. It's what they want. They want a billion dollars to come from that single title. Most RTS games do not do that. They they don't carry a billion dollars within them. They 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 might make they might make millions. They might make a billion on the first sale, but they're never going to make billions upon billions like World of Warcraft does, like Ubisoft's uh, Assassin's Creed does. Because they don't really offer shop items, people aren't really going to spend money in the shop. They they don't really offer a, a sustained sort of battle pass system that you can keep people playing and keep people buying. RTS is just not a good money maker. Um, now, again, if you're talking about the Total War series, this again, in my mind, falls in between RTS and sort of turn-based because it's still very turn-based and... That can't, as soon as something is turn based, it's not really RTS anymore. Because RTS literally stands for real time strategy, which is what StarCraft and Warcraft is. There's no turns that you're sort of doing. You are playing in real time and you have to strategize in real time. Um, you don't have the ability to sort of pause and look at what's going to happen. Everything happens at once. Now, again, I don't know what the numbers would be for your uh, 4X strategy games or your turn-based strategy games, but I'm going to assume it's nowhere near as large as your Call of Duties or your Battlefields or your MMOs even. I don't think they pull that many millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, right? Um, I, I just don't think so. Uh, Minion, how are you doing? Siege Bugs are still there. Uh, I love that series, although I heard they haven't fixed Siege Bugs. Uh, you're talking about Age of Empires. I, I haven't played the new Age of Empires. I've wanted to, but I have not gotten around to it yet. So we'll see. But I'm pretty sure games like Total War and games like Civilization fall into a different category. I do not think that they are uh, the same. Um, wait, you're talking about the Warhammer. Wait, what siege bug? I haven't, I haven't had a single siege bug in any of my playthroughs. I haven't had a single... Siege bug. So I, I don't know what, what you guys were referring to. Maybe I just haven't seen it yet. But yeah, I've been bug free in my in my playthrough of Warhammer, uh, Warhammer Three. I heard the Legend of Total War complaining. I heard Le Legend of Total War complaining. Warhammer Three Total War sieges still have the AI spark out and fail. I I don't know about that. Like I haven't received a single one of that. So yeah, maybe. But I haven't I haven't had that. Um, that issue, at least not yet. Maybe I will get it eventually, but I'm I'm sort of right now conquering the whole map, which is so fucking difficult. Uh, I, I don't think that's how you're supposed to play Total War. I don't think you should try to conquer the whole map, but I've sort of, like, not given a fuck about the Demon Souls. I've just been conquering. Just conquering and converting. I, I now have something like 32k gold already per turn. I'm making stupid money, dude. I'm just building armies at this point and conquering the world. So that that's sort of my playthrough at the minute. Um, conquering the whole map sounds like a total war to me. In Total War Warhammer, the 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 idea is actually that you're that you're supposed to try to get all the demon souls and then sort of invade the the demon realms, the chaos realms. But I've just gone fuck that. 
as soon as one of the realms gets a demon soul, I conquer that realm so they don't have the demon soul anymore. Uh, that that's my that's my playthrough right now. It's just conquering, um, and it, it's good fun. It is good fun. I am enjoying it. But yeah, uh, ultimately boiling it down, you are never going to see uh, an RTS game out of a standalone AAA company. It's why RTS is mainly for the indie fans, the the indie gaming companies. They they do RTS. Because RTS can make money, but it can't make billions. It just doesn't have that weight behind it. And I don't think, just just quickly, I do not think that it doesn't have that, oh my god, Anonymous gifted with the five community subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hearts in chat. Elodie, I'm assuming it's you that just gave us five subs. So I really appreciate that, you absolute fucking monster. Thank you for that, bro. Um, dude, I'm going to use all the money you guys give me. And we're going to have a massive party. Carrots, cucumbers, and condoms for everyone. So everyone can go fuck themselves equally. Uh, it, it's it's what we're going to be doing with all this money. I really appreciate it. No, no. Hookers and Blow is, is uh, last month. This month, it's uh, carrots, cucumbers, and condoms. We're going to have a giant fuck me party. Um, no, because banana starts with a B. It wouldn't rhyme. What are you saying? That I, like, bananas. Who would fuck themselves with banana? That's just weird, bro. RTS is good for esports in some cases, but not necessarily in all cases, right? But I'd like you, Cumberaco, just shove it up your ass and shut the fuck up, King Julian. Th this is not about personal fucking taste. This is just, you just do your fucking thing, right? Just shove it up your ass and shut the fuck up. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I would love if we could get more RTS games because I'm a huge fan. But right now, most of those gaming companies do not look at the, the gaming industry as something where holes exist and you could fill the void. They look at it as, you know, what's the next big thing? Basically, the AAA company, the, the AAA industry is like the small Twitch streamer that doesn't know how to fucking stream on Twitch. They basically jump on every new game, hoping that this is the one that's going to make them big, not realizing that that's not how you get big. Uh, you find something that works for you and you just fucking stick with it. 